G'day everyone, welcome back to Building with Fox Blockhead. We are in for a Friday fun one. This is episode number 20. Episode number 20. Thank you for helping me get to get to 20. Let's move on. Uh, mainly because there's many more episodes to come. Uh, last episode, if you remember, we built our chicken farm and uh, chicken shop. And I did hear, as I was leaving the area, a little pop. So let's go and have a look and see if we have. We have our first egg. The first egg that has ever been produced at the chicken shop. Still looking for your ideas of what to do with the, the floor there, so please let me know. And you know what? I forgot something. I forgot to grab something for way up from way up top. Today for our Friday fun one, what we're gonna do is we're going to make snow. And we're gonna make snow by getting up on top of this hill first, if I can. By having a snow golem help us. Now what a snow golem snow golem does, if I can remember where I put the snow, yep I have, um, if you put snow, two snows, one on top of the other, and then a pumpkin on top of those two snow blocks, that actually turns into a snow golem. Now if you hit your snow golem, your snow golem will not be very happy at all. But if you do not hit him, he will sit there and produce snow for you on every block that he touches underneath. Like wherever he walks, wherever our snow, snow golem shall walk, there shall be snow. So I actually want to make a snowy area in our theme park around here somewhere. So I will let a couple of snow golems loose and make that area snowy and lock it all off and, and put um, um, bars and, and walls and things up so the snow golems can't get out. But... Uh, what I want to do with this snow golem, the first snow golem that I want to create, is I want to make a snow golem farm. Well, a snow farm, really. And the way you do that is you trap your snow golem in a little one-by-one -one area and make sure that you can hit the block at the snow golem's feet and you will get snowballs for days. Snowballs for days. Now, I've only got dirt, so we're going to make a little dirt hut. Um too many animals. Um, that's right, this is going to... that's going to go up that way and then this is going to come down here. So maybe, yep, with a stairway here and then leading up to there and that's going to fork back over to there. So maybe, just off to the side over here, you can have a little snow golem room. Yeah, that sounds good to me. And I've got snow, but I, the thing is, you need to use your shovel on the snow layer underneath the snow golem to collect the snow balls and then you turn the snow balls into snow blocks. Um, I just realized that I don't have a crafting bench. Yeah, I think there's one up here. So I need to make some stuff. Don't run into the water. Oh, don't say don't run into the water. Um, hmm. So, uh, because the... Yes, here we go. Because the crafting market crafting benches all over the place, um, because you need to use the shovel, the block underneath needs to be one that resists the use of a shovel. So I've got black wool, and I've got some hoppers. So we're going to try and get this so that the snowballs fall into the hoppers and get automatically collected. So let's go back a little bit and. If the road is going through here and straight up there, two, three, and get up there. Okay, let's do this. One, two, three, four, five, s seven. I like odd numbers. Odd numbers in Minecraft work. That way you can put stuff in the very middle. Um, okay, so let's put some blocks behind. Hmm. This is going to end up being the block that stays there just because... Okay. Oh, hang on, you want to put the wall down. 
and black will give a good contrast as well. And some oh, that's why I wanted the crafting table. I want white glass for this one. Now to make white glass, put the bone meal, the white dye in the middle, surround it in the glass, you get eight from eight. There we go, so we've got some glass. And I wanted white glass because I thought that would look nice against the white snow. And I'll have to fix up the ground around here in a moment. Um you come to see what I'm doing. Well you you watch from over there. These sheep, I'll tell you what. Tell you what, these sheep are ridiculous. Um, I don't think I have enough hoppers. Because I want to stand here. Um, I don't know if the hoppers are going to collect from over there. I might have to turn those into slabs, but we'll see, we'll see. Um, I think I need one more hopper. And... Ugh. And one more chest. So if we do this, there we go. One, two, three. Now this will be a good test actually. Let's see if we can actually do this. Um, we'll have one more hopper in there. I need to be able to hit the snow block, so we'll do that in there. And that way he won't be able to get out. Oi! Get off what I'm building! Um, let's just do that for now. He shouldn't be able to escape. And let's create our snow golem. Boop! Hello, snow golem. Yes, you're stuck. Sorry. Um. Uh oh. I heard an enderman. Oh. There he is. I'm trying to get as many ender pearls as I can. Excuse me. Well, that's another three. Because soon enough, we're going to go looking for the dragon. That'll be exciting. Um. I can't. Unless I stand way back here. Oh, there we go. So we're creating snowballs. You should be able to see them all lying on the ground. But it appears as though they are not being caught up. Eh, silk touch. Okay, so let's get the oh the glass went into the hopper, that'd be right. Um and what if we do that instead? I don't want to have to stand this far back though. If you get it right in the right spot, you can actually get it going really good. You know what, he might have to... Oh, there's some getting in there. Um, I think I'm going to do this. I could maybe do a water stream. Except I don't know if the water stream works with the uh, with the snow. Let's find out. Let's find out together. Oh dear. Nope. Uh, um. Okay. Here's something new. Water streams kill snow golems. Let me go and get some stuff. I'll be right back. Let's create our second snow golem. Okay, let's try that again. Um, so I filled in the rest of the hoppers down below here. And I accidentally used the piece of wood that I took out from underneath there um, to make something else. So, I, I used the black ball. Now that looks a bit ominous with the T-shape, but it uh, contrasts quite nicely. Okay, here we go. We got the snow. We go one, two. And the pumpkin. There we go. Now, did everyone learn something today? I certainly did. Snow... Uh, Snow. Snow golems don't like water. And something else that I learned is that snow golems don't produce snow 
on hoppers. Hmm. Hmm. Back to the drawing board. Okay, here it is. Take five or six or... I've got one pumpkin left, so I could do one more thing. Uh, but what I decided to do, and I'll have to change this up a little bit so that I can access stuff. Alright, I've got two fences here so I can access the snow. All right, The snow is going to jump all over the place. I've got hoppers around to filter it into this guy here. But one trick that I forgot that I remember now is a minecart with a hopper in it actually sits up into the next block. So if I start going like this, this hopper minecart collects the snow. Then we've got hopper, hopper, and um, and a chest for collecting. So I've got two chests going at the moment to collect the snowballs, and I might end up filtering it down somewhere and yeah, make make mm -hmm. some snow that way. But I think it's finished. I think uh, eventually we got this thing sorted out. Um, I'll have to fix it up a little bit. Um, I also added this in here. I thought that might have been a um, a problem having the um, the uh, snow golem not quite centered so as soon as he steps onto the side we've got torch torch on torch off as soon as he steps onto that pressure plate it goes torch off torch on which means that the piston fires a piece a piece of glass into this spare space right here which then shoves the snow golem back into the middle of the block and he's back on top making snow like the good little snow golem he is and the good thing about that is that this is this works kind of like a player detector because if you're out of range this snow golem he's not going to do anything but when you're close by that's when this snow golem will actually move around and if he moves around and, and steps on this pressure plate then you can essentially um, test to see when a player is in the range of the snow golem and you can have it so that when this redstone torch lights up, you've got um, some dust over here. You've got some dust. Some dust there that goes off here. And then that can lead off to something else, whether it's some pistons firing or uh, or um, what else could it be? Some fireworks going off or something. And then I'm going to leave this little area here so that if I want to, I can jump in and, and, and collect some uh, any of the leftover snowballs but as you can see I've got a bunch of snowballs now and a way of collecting renewable snowballs so hopefully you've had a Friday fun one with me today Friday episode number 20 thank you very much for supporting me so far and please oh there you go oh, I missed it and uh, yes thank you and please continue to support me into the future uh, your support is very very much appreciated so if you can, hit that like button if you think I deserve a like. I'm going to catch a sneaky shot of our snow golem. Um, hit that like button if you thought that this video deserved a like. Uh, jump onto the social media and let me know what you thought about the chicken farm shop thingy going over, over there. Um, tell me what you thought about the snow golem one here. And uh, during the week, I might tidy this up and, and fix it up and... Yeah, one thing that I do like is putting um, stone bricks down for any redstone. So any of this redstone will all be stone bricks. That way, if I'm digging around and I run into stone bricks, I know not to break that because I know that there's something uh, behind that that's that could be um, could be in some sort of a, a larger mechanism. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll make a little house around Sir so Sir Snow Golem. And uh, perhaps even fix up these roads so we can have a little bit of a, an entrance way into, into the Snow Golem area. But of course, any ideas, please let me know. I love to hear what you got, you, your ideas are. And I'm very interested to see if you've got any ways of improving my resort. But uh, let's walk across this bridge. And there he is. Bye, Snow Golem. Say bye, Snow Golem, everyone. Bye, Snow Golem. Until next time, my name is Fox Blockhead. See you later, alligators.